Now, verses 9 and 10, and I'm reading. And he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they that are bidden, invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true words of God. And I fell down before his feet to worship him, and he saith unto me, See thou do it not, I'm a fellow servant with thee and with thy brethren that hold the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Now, the marriage of the Lamb, will you hear me carefully now? The marriage of the Lamb takes place in heaven, but the marriage supper takes place on earth. And the picture is in Matthew 25, verses 1 through 13, the parable of the ten virgins. You see, they were not the bride. He has only one bride. That's the church. And these ten virgins were waiting after the marriage. You see, the bridegroom returns to the earth for the marriage supper, not only to judge the earth, but for the marriage supper. And the ten virgins were expecting to attend. And that's another picture of this scene back in Psalm 45. You see, Christ is seen coming as king, and the queen is there. Well, you're not told who she is, but we're told king's daughters were among thy honorable women. Upon thy right hand did stand the queen in the gold of Ophir. I think that's a picture, a symbol, a type of the church. And guests are present. The daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. You see the marriage suppers here on this earth. Now, both Israel and Gentiles who enter the millennium are the invited guests. And the marriage supper is evidently the millennium. And you talk about a long supper, that's going to be a long one. At the end of the millennium, the church is still seen as the bride. Imagine a honeymoon that lasts a thousand years. And friends, that's only the beginning. Oh, what joy, what ecstasy. The angel puts God's seal on this scene. These things are the true words of God. And then after acting as a scribe for this scene, John feels compelled to worship the angelic messenger. However, he's restrained from doing so. The angel is but a creature. Only God is to be worshipped. What a rebuke to Satan, the Antichrist, and the false prophet who wanted to be worshipped. And there are a lot of folk like that today. Now we come to the return of Christ to the earth. Friends, the king is coming, but not until we get to this place here. He's going to take his church out. that will be the great tribulation period, the marriage of the church to Christ. The church now is the bride, you see. No longer call the church, the bride of Christ. And the bride will come to the earth with the king, and they'll have a marriage supper down here upon the earth. And that, I think, is going to be the millennium. What a supper. What a honeymoon. What a glorious day is ahead of us. If we could just only get our eyes from off the muck and mire of this earth in which we live and get it on things 